Hello dear friends of innovations! With the release of TIA Portal version 15.1, we want to take a look behind the scenes. That's why we're here in the development department at our site in Food. Follow me! By the way, in the past I worked here and took care of the XML import and export. Ah, here I am. Hello Harald. Ah, hello Tobias. We wanted to meet here at Room Obeya. What's the name all about? Yes, Obeya is Japanese and simply means big room. In this big room here, we show all activities of the Step 7 project within the A portal. Mm -hmm. And what's on the paperwork about? Each node represents a user requirement. For example, we had the requirement to offer logical units, so that serious machine manufacturers could easily handle reasonable connected units, consisting of software modules, variable tables and PLC data types. The simple modification and download of logical units was also a requirement. Our software units is the answer, a new function of TIA Portal version 15.1. Okay, this means that there are large requirements and these are then broken down into smaller components. How can I imagine that exactly? Well, the requirement is divided into different units, so-called epics. We work agile and in so-called scrum teams. Such an epic is a typical construct from the scrum world and represents a meaningful set of user stories. A user story is again a unit that can be implemented by the development team. Okay, and who works in such a scrum development team? In contrast to the component-oriented development teams, in Scrum teams developers from different areas with different competences work together. In the end, the goal is to fully implement a complete function. Component teams are made up of people with specific component responsibilities, such as a compiler expert in a team of compiler experts or a UI expert in a team of UI experts. In Scrum teams, it is about combining all necessary competences from the expert teams, so that the complete implementation within a sprint is possible. Okay, and in which period of time does a development sprint take place? This happens typically in a two-week cycle. The team commits itself to several user stories at the beginning of the two weeks. Then the user stories are worked through and at the end of the development sprint they are presented to the product owner. Do you have an example for a user story like this? Yes, of course. Let's see. We work with a lot of paper here. Such a Scrum user story has a certain structure. After the creation, we come together in the teams of developers to discuss the content. The objective is to get a common idea of the requirement. As you can see here, there are a lot of handwritten notes which are subject of the discussion. Okay? At the end of the discussion, the team knows exactly which tasks are behind such a user story. Okay, and that means it's a very dynamic process. Yes, of course, it is just one of the important aspects of software development, to be able to react to changes, both internally and externally. Sounds very interesting, can I take a closer look? Of course, you're welcome. Just come with me, I'll take you to the team. Okay. Hello Armin. Hello Tobias. Hi. What are your team's tasks? Well, we basically have user stories that we implement. We divide these user stories into smaller tasks. Such a task can be something standardized, like the creation of the documentation for a new function. A new function that we introduced in version 15.1 of TIA portal is the topic software units, but it can also be more specific tasks. This is very diverse. Okay, and what are you doing then? That means you create the code to be able to create these software units in TIA portal. And you'll do the functional test too, right? That's right. We have several quality levels that are passed through. And the first quality level actually takes place with a check-in in our software management systems. This is where the first things are checked, such as compliance with programming guidelines, but also many other things. Okay, we also have programming guidelines for PLC programming, with the objective of keeping a certain programming standard, for example on the naming of variables. Is this similar for you? Exactly. It is very important to us that we all speak the same language and that we all adhere to our framework. 
That's why we take great care to ensure that our programming is compliant right from the start. I also see a lot of green on the screen here. Are these test procedures? That's right. These are components of our second quality lab. Basically, these are TLA portal surface tests that run at night and are carried out by a test machine. Here, we have the possibility to set different test points and to check them for acceptance criteria. For quality assurance, we rely on continuous process monitoring and use such tools. Great! Does this mean that there is also a larger test infrastructure for these topics in order to process the test cases effectively? Right, we have a big test system with PCs and field PGs, and if you want, we can drop by. Sure, let's go! Here we are. You are now at our PC system site. You see a lot of computers. These are our physical computers, which work through the tests every night. You don't even see a part of the system now. We also have virtual machines in use, but they are hosted in another computer center. That's where our larger test procedures are running. I also see these VPGs and normal computers here, which means that you're also testing with the real hardware of our customers. Exactly, it is very important for us to work with real hardware. And this is the only way we can ensure the performance and functionality that our customers expect. Yes, and here behind us is a test rack with different controllers. What are we doing with them? Of course, we have parts and tests that have to test online functionality and scenarios, like upload or download, which can only happen with real hardware. And that's why we have a lot of controllers and additional hardware to use. And how can I imagine that? How many test cases run usually? We are talking about several thousand test machines running through every night. And that 24 hours a day. It is really a considerable part that is already being tested here. Okay, very good. This will surely give you a big test coverage. Then thank you for the information. Take care. You're welcome. Bye. Here we have different test racks with frequency converters, controllers, decentralized peripherals and operating devices. The way it works together, we call totally integrated automation. Let's have a look on how this is tested. Hello Marcel. Hello Tobias. Hi. I already talked to Harald and Armin today, who gave me a little insight into the agile development and tests. What are you doing here? Yes, here in the system test, we take a look at the overall system. From TIA portal and its individual option packages to the SIMATIC hardware, which we want to deliver to our customers. We are the last instance in the quality process before the delivery release and basically ensure that the high quality that we want to make available is guaranteed. And, of course, that all components work together perfectly. So, you're looking at the real thing on the surface of TIA portal? Exactly, that's what you can see here. I have a project to test the alarm behavior of the S7-1500 CPU. We see the current state of the alarm system here on HMI visualization. And this is now an automated test which we can also interrupt if needed. This runs on real structures and we basically focus on any S7-1500 functionalities. This means that in this case the interaction between TIA portal, S7-1500 and the visualization is already being tested. That's right. Great, and which main functions have you tested here for upcoming TIA portal version 15.1? Two big topics were the OPC UA client and the clock synchronous backplane bus of S7-1500, both innovations of version 15.1. Mm -hmm, okay, everything all right until now? Yes, we already approved the delivery release. Great to hear that. Thank you and see you soon. You're welcome. See you.
Now we gotta look behind the scenes of RTNA Portal Development Department. Now I enjoy my coffee and you can enjoy the new highlights of TNA Portal version 15.1. Have fun trying them out! Siemens. Ingenuity for life.